Farm Show. Dad Gummit, here we are. Episode six, Mother Truckers. You know what's all about? This is I. I don't. It's been about three weeks since the last one. Or well, it's been almost a month since we recorded the last one. But we uploaded the last one about a week and a half, two weeks ago, featuring the beautiful Jamie Pearl. And um, we apologize for the video issues. It was hotter than two rats making love in a big old wool sock in here, and that caused the computer to. Um, have a case of digital throw up mouth which caused that anyways it's all fixed and we've got air conditioner air conditioner do you see that do you see it you can hear it and you're gonna see it no more just a bunch of sweaty bodies in here you know it's just anyways we're here episode six of the chad arm show i want to say thanks to everybody that supported the show so far um we're doing it's doing really well i appreciate everybody i know this is a different type of content that's on my channel that this is uploaded on you know with the wrestling videos and the music and the movies but um it's we're getting a lot of good responses from it and i appreciate y'all support and today uh we've got the homeboy upchurch the redneck coming through now if you don't know who upchurch the redneck is i it's kind of difficult to understand why you don't because he's a uh, he's from around east parts he's from around cheatham county which is the sticks out here in tennessee middle tennessee and he's got hundreds of thousands of followers online, Facebook, Instagram. Um, and he's going to be coming through the studio today. And it's uh, really, really going to be a pleasure to have him here with us um, and to, you know, to come through and do the show with us. He said, he, you know, he was down to do it. So we look forward to, to doing that, with, uh, you know, doing the interview with him later. But before we do that, I just wanted to give a little introduction to the new episode. Kind of just talk about a little bit of stuff, uh, what's been going on. You know, like I said, this is um, we've been doing really well with the with the promotion of this, and we're just going to keep up and up in the ante on it. You know, we're going to keep keep things rolling. Um, as far as my channel content goes, you know, I'm, I've been uploading a lot of uh, movie related stuff, and not as much wrestling here lately, just because this wrestling's pretty bad right now. But that's just how it is. Um, but as far as the music, we've got uh, the new single uh, with me and Talent the Barber called "I Got It." Um, it's going to be. We're going to be leaking the song here in the next week or so, probably next week or maybe the week after. And then um, we're going to try to get it up on all the digital networks by the end of the month. So it'll be 99 cents, for, you know, so support us and do that for us if you can. It's a good song. And uh, Happy Days is coming along great. Uh, we're looking to, sh to wrap it up around August and put it out to everybody. Um, just really just getting this stuff together, trying to balance, you know, my work schedule uh, my actual nine to five work schedule, as well as my pot, the podcast and the music, all kind of balancing act for that. But we're gonna cut for a second. We're gonna come right on back to you. I live out in the country, used to hang on old farm creek, used to catfish with my grandpa, used to cut the grass for free, and there ain't been a damn thing that could teach me right from wrong. Used to listen to Hank Williams try to live by all his song. Yeah, I've been. What's going on, everybody? It's the Chad Arm Show. We're right back. Like I said, we're back like we left our car keys, and we got the homie up church, the redneck baby. I just rose the roof. I just did that. He rose it up with his own hands. I did. I brought it back. It's back officially. So, what's up, man? Tell me about yourself, brother. Just chilling, man. My name's uh, Ryan Upchurch, aka Upchurch the Redneck. I was born in Nashville, Tennessee, and I was raised out in the deep ass sticks of Cheatham County. <laughs> it's Cheatham County. Almost as popular as New York City. Sort of kind of. Almost. Okay. You can't beat them, cheat them. <laughs> can't, be, can't beat them, cheat them. So, what's up, man? How, you said you grew up in, that's where you were born, and that's where you were born and raised? Yep. Tell them a little bit about Cheatham County for those that don't know. Cheatham County is uh, pretty much the middle of nowhere. I think my graduating class had like maybe 400, 500 people in it. Oh, wow. And yeah. Hardly nobody. And uh, half those people graduated. <laughs> <laughs> to be real. Like, Sorry for all we y'all out there that are watching this. They were batting 500. They were batting 500 <laughs> in graduation rate. I barely graduated. Hey, the, the, hey, you did, though. You know? You did. Yeah. That's the main thing. So what was growing up? What would what'd you like to do, man? Growing up, um, well, growing up, my mama tried to keep holding me in the house till I was like fifteen. I started opening my window and sneaking out at night and shit like that. Yeah, and uh, used to go out and get into trouble in my town. <laughs> oh shit! That's about sums it up. So basically, 
Cheatham County is a small small country town, similar to why I'm from Greenbrier, similar. I think Cheatham oh, County, yeah. Might, yeah, maybe a little bigger. But um, basically, when did you start working on music? Like growing up, I mean, you listen to country, obviously. Was that all you listened to? Uh, did you listen to rap too? That's or? actually a pretty uh, that's pretty uh, that's pretty inter- interesting com- uh, question you asked because actually nobody knows this on the internet. Everybody thinks that I started from comedy because of video. I did have a video go viral. And that's how the comedy and everything started. Mm-hmm. But I actually started music in high school. But when I started music, living in such a small town, which, I mean, I grew up listening to country music. I listened to Alan Jackson, Kenny Chesney, Garth Brooks, you know, yeah. you name it. I listened yeah. to all of it. And uh, I started getting into music. Well, I couldn't sing then. So I was like, yeah. well, if I can't sing, well, shit, I'll just try rapping. So right. I started rapping. <laughs> and... uh I got made fun of a lot for rapping. So did I, too. Yeah. And people was like, oh, you suck at rapping. You're white. You don't need to rap, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, all right, well, shit. So I quit, and I, I don't know why I quit. I mean, I guess I cared about what people thought too much, which is don't ever think, don't ever care about what anybody thinks because nobody's opinion really matters except right. for your own opinion. Exactly. Everybody exactly. out there. And uh, I was like, one day I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to do it, and I'm just going to do it my way. Right. And now I'm here. When was your – how old are you? Probably? You're a young um, buck, aren't you? I'm actually – I'm 23. I'll be 24 in 10 days. Oh, okay. Well, happy early birthday, Bubba. Appreciate it. All right. So so when when did you drop your – like growing up when you first started making music, did you ever – did you just – was you just like doing country like – country or rapping and then you did like a project a few years back or – See, like when – most time when people start doing like rap music, well, it, where I grew up when people started doing rap music, they go off of who their influences are, but they go off who their influences are too hard. Yeah, exactly. They're trying and to they sound just up, like them. They yeah. end up trying to sound just like them. And right. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna sugarcoat nothing. And be like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I started just like this the first time because that's not true. No, right, right. I started. I listened to obviously Eminem. Of I course. Mean, yeah. When I was a kid, I got grounded for like a month for uh, having an Eminem cassette tape. I think we all did. Yeah, yeah we probably <laughs> Eminem somewhere got us in trouble. Got my PlayStation <laughs> One took in the way and my Crash Bandicoot. Play- Shout out to Crash Bandicoot. PS1. What have we got? <laughs> God, I miss him. I love those. that game. And, so, uh, yeah. Eminem? Eminem. Um, growing up, I think I was probably one of the first people in my school to ever know who Big Smo was. Yeah. And everybody's like, oh, this dude's whack. And I was like, dude, no, he's not. He's so cool. Right. Because he raps about the stuff that we're doing. Like, exactly. This, he raps about what we're living. He's like, so I started listening to him. Actually, before all this started, I asked Big, Fo- Big Smo for advice. Right. And this was after he kind of got big from uh, uh, that Hick Life song. And yeah, uh, yeah. I was like, this dude's not going to reply. Dude, I'm a fucking nobody. And he, he replied to me. Oh, he's great. He's great. And people, I was like, yeah. dude, right on. He gave me a list of advice. I took the advice. I met up with Johnny. Johnny gave me advice. And now, right. Now, like, shout out to Johnny Cashville. Yes. Yes, sir. Now there's at least one person in every state of America that knows who I am. So that's hey, where, hey, that's they what do about. something. They do yeah, something. Man. So okay, there, there, tell me about the videos. Like where where did the whole, how did that start, and what at what point did it just start? Did it just blow up? Was it an overnight thing? Or did it like so quickly like happen? Or it was sort of overnight. Did it start from Instagram videos. Yeah, or, I started yeah. from Instagram. Well, here's the thing. One night. I've always I've always been who I am. Every yeah. time we used to go downtown, go do the like go to parties and stuff. I was always the dude. Like everybody get drunk and come to me and be like, say something funny. Yeah. <laughs> right. So I would. And um, one day I think this was it was after high, it was like a year after high school, and my friends they we was like, they was like let's go to Brass Stables. I was like, what is Brass Stables? Oh yeah, home of the finest looking strippers. Just kidding. God, that's where I got my first lap dance. Oh, about a God. Did you go get checked after that? I should have. You should have, player. Yeah, it was. Oh, God. Go ahead, man. So we went to brass tables. Not old enough to drink, I'll tell you that. And then this drunk Marine was in there, and he's like, hey, man, better go get me a lap dance. You want my beer? Not the beer you done open, player. Give me yeah. the ones that ain't open. <laughs> so I start drinking them or whatever. And then, you know, at brass tables, the, they'll harass you for your money. Oh, of course. Yeah. They will harass you. Yeah. So I'm sitting there, you know, I got done with the Coors Light dude gave me. So I'm ordering lemonade, lemonade, lemonade. Yeah, yeah. And then the girl comes up, and they kept asking me, hey, do you want a lap dance from so-and-so? I'm like, no, I'm good. Then this girl, I remember this girl with a Hello Kitty tattoo. She oh, come she come up to me, dude. 
her I ain't gonna say what her breast smelled like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna say what it smelled like, but she come up to me and I know all my fans that are watching right now know exactly what video I'm talking about. So Long story short, I didn't want no lap dance. Right. I didn't want none of that shit. I wanted my jeans to stay dry in the crotch area the whole time I was there. Yeah. So I said no. And then finally the bodyguard, he was like, how old are you? And I was like, I'm 29. And he was like, no, you're not. Show me your ID. My dumb ass gives him the ID knowing I'm 18. <laughs> he comes back over. Dude, he grabbed me by my neck and he said, get out of here. Threw me out of here. You ain't even paying for no lap dance, nothing like that. I was like, okay. Fine, so if then. you would have been paying, you could have been in there illegally. Is basically what. If I was paying for her to shake her ass on me, they I would have overlooked. I could have been fifteen and right. been drinking. That's great so, logic, Brad Stable. That's why you're such a great establishment. Shout out to Brad Stables. <laughs> Go ahead. God, that's so. That just sounds like that's Brad Stables in a nutshell. So Brad Stables. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> so I left. I was like, man, this. Didn't. So I made a video about it, and uh, the video is called Athlete's Lip, <laughs> and. <laughs> just sounds amazing. I had I, after I watched a Foot Locker commercial, then I come up with the idea of the video. Yeah, yeah. So I made the video. I didn't think nothing about the video. I was like, man, whatever, it's a video. I posted it on Facebook. Well, that back then I just had a, a plain old Facebook. Like I didn't have an Instagram. Yeah, I didn't like have a, Twitter. I didn't right. have anything. And uh, I went to O Charlie's like a month later, and I was sitting there eating, you know. And uh, this chick comes up to me. She's like, oh, you're that guy from YouTube. And I was like, no, I'm not. What are you talking about? Right. She's like, let me get a picture with you. And I was like, dude, you got the wrong guy. She's like, no. And she showed me this video. The one that, yeah, athletes love. At, at this time, this was a week later, it had 90,000 views. Oh, God. And you didn't know? I had no idea. Well, because you posted it on your Facebook. Right. Yeah. And somebody grabbed it off Facebook and stuck it on YouTube because they thought it was funny. Oh, and it okay. got 90,000 views. And I was like, dude, 90,000 views is a lot. Yeah, yeah. So then I had this guy uh, that works at a gym. He's a manager. He was like, dude, he's like, you need to make an Instagram. You need to make a, a like page. You need to make all this stuff. Right. And then, dude, I swear, at, at the beginning, I would I had... I had like a thousand followers. I thought that was so many followers. I was right. like, dude, a thousand people? Yeah, yeah. That for is sure. so many people. <laughs> and then I would log off, get back on a week later, twenty thousand. A week later, fifty thousand. A week later, sixty thousand. And then now it's six hundred twenty one thousand, Bob. I looked it up on your phone. Oh no, it's more than that. Now. Oh, is it? It's eight hundred and fifty nine thousand. On your Facebook? On both combined. Oh, combined. Yeah, yeah combined. Yeah, because your Instagram's got 200 and some thousand. Right. That's crazy, man. That's awesome, dude. So how, since all that's happened, that's been over like how long of a time? Like a year and a half? Or? Seven months. Seven months. Mm -hmm. That's crazy, man. <laughs> so in that seven months, how, I mean, you don't have to go into detail about everything, but how has your life changed in the seven months? Because obviously, social media fame is still, it's fame, man. I mean, it's, because right. you, if you've got it's that kind many of followers... Right, it's kind of more intense yeah. because so many people now are so intact with social media. Right, that they're right. anti-social, so they're yeah, yeah they're right. Rather people. than watching a TV show, they're watching YouTube videos. They're right. watching their favorite YouTuber, their favorite Instagrammer. They're not watching Days of Our Lives or nothing. You yeah, know what yeah, yeah, yeah. They're watching the internet. Shout out to Days of Our Lives, dude. <laughs> That was like great, sand dude. through the hourglass. It's still going all these years later. We don't know what the same guy's dead and. The, no, that's great, dude. dude I made a video about that like an hour ago. Really? Yeah. Days of Our Lives is the OG of the soap operas. Jesus oh, dude, Christ. it's been on for like what a hundred years at least, dude. <laughs> at least. So in the seven months, like like you were saying, just over that time frame, having that many people, especially in small towns, because if you've got that many followers, <coughs> chances are. The core amount of that is going to come from where you're from, obviously, because it's a small town. So you're going to be, I would assume, you'd be pretty well known where you're where you live at, since it's a small town. I am, but the thing is, since I grew up with these people, you're just it's just the same guy. I'm yeah. just riding up church. That's cool though. Yeah. That's cool that you 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 act you know the same because a lot of people don't. Right. So basically, all that stuff that happened, like in the seven months, it seemed. I mean, just watching your videos on Instagram and stuff. It's pretty crazy, man, to see like the following that you've got, and it's it's cool because you're just being who you are, right? And people just like to fucking laugh and be entertained, you know. <laughs> yeah. So that's I'd much rather see somebody like you <clears throat> rise up than somebody that's out there just being an idiot, right? You know what I mean, like yeah, I understand. Or doing stupid shit. Like I think that's <clears throat> cool as hell, especially since you're <clears throat> from around here and you're a super cool dude as well. Oh too. yeah, appreciate it, man. Appreciate no it. Problem, you dude. are too. <laughs> yeah, thanks, man. So 
basically all that that's happened in this seven to eight months has basically led you up to somehow linking up with with uh, Johnny Cashville and yes, Black Fly Music. Oh yeah. And so tell us a little bit how about that how that came about. Man, that's actually a funny story because <laughs> I I knew who Johnny Cashville was as Rehab back in the day because right. like a lot of people list around here listen to local music. Right. And uh, come to find out, <laughs> Johnny's wife is. Kent, Johnny's wife, her uncle Randy, yes. they were married. My my aunt Rhonda and uncle Randy was married, right? And Johnny and his and uncle Randy's relative were married. So it's kind of like a it's kind of like a family thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I linked up with them years later, and we're doing music, player. We're doing music. Man, these boys think they got me. <laughs> you ain't got shit, son. I'm the Lane Frost of this shit. So bring your ass on there. I'm on my country boy shit. He'll build it like it's Beverly. Cherry red Chevy lift, kid about a couple feet. Roots in my boots, and I ain't gotta prove shit. Follow me down to my woods, boy, and hop off in these sticks. We got clips, we got guns, drop them tires off in this mud. I'm from back with cheat them, cannon, boy, them three words say it all. Dropping bucks, making dollars, small town man down from the hollow. Middle finger to the about Cheatham County EP. Tell us about the EP. Tell us about because by the way it's available now in the description box. It's in, it's in the top ten on iTunes. Yes sir. Like that's 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 crazy. That's that's great to be in the top ten on any charts. But if you're on the iTunes charts, I don't give a fuck. That's good shit, man. So oh, y'all yeah. support that. It's good music. It's five ninety nine. Um, it's also going to be up on all the other digital media outlets like Amazon MP three, Spotify, um, Spotify. Um, Google Play, Google Play, all those, all those as well. <coughs> so links in the description. Y'all be sure to get that. But tell us about Cheatham County EP, brother. The how Cheatham, that came about. The Cheatham County EP is a lot of what I've picked up growing up. Mm -hmm. uh, the stuff that I've done growing up. Um, the people I grew up around. The influences. Uh, one of my biggest influences. Uh, my grandfather. My grandfather. He was. He was a legit outlaw. I know a lot of people now say, "Oh, I'm an outlaw. I'm an outlaw." 
you know, like all these like new, like upcoming, like little dudes that are in high school claim they're outlaw. No, dude, <laughs> this was a outlaw. Right. When I say outlaw, I mean going and buying an 87 camper and fitting like 50 game roosters in that mug and going to Kentucky illegally to play poker and to fight chickens. Right. So just the, the definition of outlaw. The definition sure. of outlaw. Yeah. I mean, I've been uh, living in Cheatham County forever, and when we lived on Pond Creek Road, we would host poker games. My grandfather would, and I've seen – I've been up there watching – and I've seen somebody, you know, get blamed for cheating or cheating or whatever, and guns come out. Yeah, like the literally, Wild West. guns yeah. come out yeah. because they're not playing for a hundred dollars; they're playing for thirty thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's serious money. money on the table. Yeah. Oh yeah. So, Cheatham County, basically, how long of a process was that as far as recording it? Where did you record it at? Like, give just give us a little insight on the production aspect. You know, like how that came about. Uh, we recorded it at Crush Entertainment. Uh, I wrote the whole. EP in about five days. Sweet. And it, we recorded it within like two weeks. And shout out to the who's the home of the, the how Rolla. How Rolla. You need to make me some Rolla dogs, dude. <laughs> Come on, man. Shout out to High Rolla. He's going to be <laughs> on the show soon. Shout out to you, brother. Um, so you recorded the, the EP there. Um, and the first single came out was Cheatham County. Yes, sir. Right? Which the video is already at like on YouTube. I looked it up. It's like forty thousand on YouTube and like a hundred thousand on your Facebook already. Yes, sir. And you dropped it. I think was it uh, two days ago. Two days ago, yeah. So the link to that. Actually, we're gonna put that video at the end of this video, so y'all can check it out. But the link's also gonna be in the description. It's just gonna be full of up church links. Y'all, <laughs> y'all sub to all of them. Uh, but that's a really cool video, man. That's just basically giving them like people that don't know you an insight to who you are, and then also repping the people that have been down with you. That's yes. what I got from it. You know exactly. what I mean? Exactly. Like, I wanted my first, because, man, I've been dying so long. Ever since I was in ninth grade, I wanted my own music video, and I thought right. that was so out of reach because I didn't know anything about music. Right, right, right. I just right. knew who I was. I knew what I wanted to say. Yeah. And when we, were, when we were doing this first music video, I was like, you know what? We're doing this music video in Cheatham. Right. We're doing it Cheatham style with Cheatham people, and I threw a little twist on it. Because I know a lot of people that got really big numbers don't really connect with their fans oh, yeah, a they're, lot. They're, yeah. But you can ask you can ask anybody. I stay in touch as much as possible. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna make a post on Facebook. Whoever wants to be in this music video, bring your ass on down here. Right, right. We had people drive six hours I from it, West dude. Virginia to be in a music video for two hours and drive back home. I believe it, dude, because I watch you. I follow you on Facebook, and I watch you. Um, you'll do those videos where you you like read fan mail, and you'll show stuff people drew you. And shit. Oh yeah, and that shit goes a long way to people, man. Because if if fans that are fans of you and support what you do, and they know that what they're doing that you appreciate it, it's going to make them go the extra mile for you. Right. Than if you were just one of those douchebags that saw them as just another. Exactly. Number, you know what right. I mean? and, and that's just going to make your longevity that much whatever you want. Oh it to yeah, be, and you, you know? never and you never know. You never know what somebody's going through. You don't know if they watch your videos because they have a bad home life. They right, get picked right. on at school. They don't know. To to them, for, to you opening that mail and reading it, that could mean, mean the everything world to them. To them. Right, man. And that's why you got to do it. You, can, you can't forget the fans. The fans are what puts you where you're at. Right, and that's the You that's forget the, the fans, you might as well forget everything. Because you're, cause you're not – that's it's one thing a lot of these artists do, and it's just not rap. It's all artists. They get to that level, man, where they, they feel like they're above everybody just because they've got so many followers or so many so much oh. money, and that's when stuff, you just got. It's always good, you know, to see artists like you that that, because you could easily you could easily be a douchebag and be like, oh, oh yeah, I got all these people. You. you can't talk to me. You got to talk to my manager. You got to talk. To, right. And the the fact that you're down to earth like that, that's just going. And know, see, I've even been out with. I've been at events with, I'm not going to say anybody's names, these people are nothing, not, they have nothing to do with the music business. These are people that are famous on Instagram for videos and stuff. I've been out with these people doing events before, and like I said before, I'm not going to say any names, yeah. but I have seen somebody that is famous on the internet shut down a girl for taking a picture with him because she was too fat. Yeah, dude, dude, I wanted to punch dude in the face. Yeah, dude. But you can't because they have so many well, bodyguards. Well, yeah, 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 but this, that's, the, that's the kind of stuff I'm talking about, though. That's... That's just that's it's not cool. No, not at all. It's not man. Cool. So, the Cheatham County EP again 
is available now. And you also, I want to talk about this because I just watched it today. You just released a new video. Yes, sir. Um, Country, Country Way. Way. Where you're singing the hook, which is super dope, and you're rapping. Yes, um, so tell them a little bit that, about that one, too. Country bit. Way, uh, the f- I believe it's the first verse. It uh, that, so- that Country Way was influenced by my grandpa, pretty right. much. Because if you notice in the lyrics, I say... Um, Chicken fights in other states, cages in the Winnebago. That's talking about like him, like he used right, to go what you were just fights. saying, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's just yeah, that's what it's about. Yeah. Sorry, I, I was spacing out for no, a minute. No, you're good. You're good. <laughs> it's cool. It's just a cool video, man. Like you're just out on the boat, just just fucking oh, yeah. doing what you do. And the cool thing is, is that you can you can fucking legit sing, dude. Like you could seriously, <laughs> you could put out a CD, you know, or you could put out another CD where you're doing that, or just intertwining the both of them. And that's what a lot of these, like a lot of country artists that are out now, they try to do that now. Some of them I noticed are trying to rap. Yeah. And some of them can and some of them really can't. But you can you can do both, you know. A lot of people can't do one or the other, but that's just something else that can. I appreciate that, man. No I, I Personally, I don't think I can sing. I tell her all the time, I'm like, I'm, I suck at singing. I sing in the shower. My my girlfriend, she don't Snapchat and she'll run in the bathroom. <laughs> Tell me while I'm singing, I'm like. Why did you post that on Snapchat? It sucks. Like, no, no. I'm like, all yeah, right, whatever. Right. Post it then. <laughs> right. And y'all, I was t- when I was talking to uh, to Johnny earlier, y'all are planning to release a video for each song, correct? Correct. Or, yeah, plan- which I think is a super dope idea because you've got it's the EP, so it's like seven tracks, right? Or five, six songs and I a skit. It, I believe it's seven. That's bad that I don't know, but I believe it's yeah, seven. Yeah, well, I think you got one skit on there. Yeah, J- yeah. J-Town Speaks. <laughs> yeah, J-Town. I heard he was talking about J-Town, too. Oh, my God. That's um, so funny. So that's a cool idea that you're doing that. So, again, y'all be sure to support the homie and pick up his EP. It's five ninety nine. Even if you don't want to pick up the whole EP and you just like a few songs, you can download them individually for a dollar a piece. Click a link. Follow him on Facebook. I'm telling you – it, it's worth it just for the if you don't even like the music that he does watch him for the entertainment factor because he's just he just speaks that real shit especially dude I watched the clip earlier when you was talking about insecure dudes man it was shit was so funny is it true oh it's totally true <laughs> when you said when you the way you was talking as the insecure dude it was it's like a Disney hey, they're character talking about it, man. <laughs> yeah that shit was great it was like Sylvester Stallone <laughs> so check him out man seriously up church the redneck. Raise hell, eat cornbread. You know what I'm talking about? All day. All day, every, every day. day. Raise hell, eat cornbread. I got it tattooed in my skin. It ain't going nowhere. <laughs> right? So, so now that we've gotten all the business out of the way, now we're going to look We're gonna look at some stupid videos. Chance, you ready for some <laughs> stupid videos, mother? Oh, yeah. Okay, we're going to start this. Let me just preface this. He hasn't seen this. Now, my boy Big Free, who's a big part of this whole ordeal that is the Chad Arm Show, brought us this video, and me and Chance were like, well, we'll watch it. I was like, because everybody's been bringing me videos, but when he brought me this one, I was like, it, okay. <laughs> Diamond Dave, right? Diamond Dave's Redneck Ninja. This is, this is an instructional video, and we're just going to get your thoughts on it. up So you can look at that TV. Okay. You're now a proud owner of one, Diamond Dave. Oh, uh, here we go. Diamond Dave's what? Redneck Ninja Flick. Redneck Ninja Flick. Now, this guy, is he's been on the Jerry Springer show, and I, I can't. I'm just so glad that he hasn't seen this. Are you ready? <laughs> it looks okay. interesting. Yeah, just You're now a proud owner of Diamond Days and Ninja Teaching Flakes. I need let me see the sign. Right Look at his assistant. Yes, here's my Ninja. It's Ninja. <laughs> That's Donatello, player. <laughs> Look how excited she is. What we're gonna teach you in our first episode is a proper stance and a my proper. My boyfriend smokes meth. <laughs> and and, uh, He's dead serious. Too. Watch. All right. You got your karate chop. Whoa, dude. And you got your ninja chop. <laughs> and what the smart thing to do is like a, when you use a, a judo chopping, <laughs> you got to say it, uh, you know, for you beginners. You know, like a judy chop. Hey, <laughs> judy chop. You got to call your like shot. Like a judy chopping and a kung fu kicking. <coughs> He's dead you know, serious, folks, is the thing. Well, this guy's legit serious. one legged ninja out there. Out there. Now he's going to oh, attempt a, a demo here. He's going to a board break. Now that's like particle board. Is the girl holding it? Yeah. Oh god. He said he don't want to hurt her. What? what we going to do here? We can't bend this. It's my last plate. Right. Now keep in mind he didn't edit this out. Well, well, sometimes it don't. Hold on a minute. Sometimes it don't always work. You know, but it's it practice makes a perfect. Don't go ninja, nobody. Don't need ninja. Now this thing's there. 
I <laughs> spent the... them in my pockets to get me for concealment of a deadly weapon. Concealing of a deadly weapon, even though he couldn't break a, car, a cardboard box. Regular cannon backer, you say? No, says I. Watch this, people. Oh, you're yeah, like this. Just this. Right I'll you. Park, what's that? Except that big ninja star. <laughs> <laughs> He's using a, a, a dip can dude, for Ninja Star. I gotta try that. You do, dude, for sure. I'm gonna yeah, fill mine full of rocks, though, instead of dip. Right. <laughs> and like if a feller's coming at you with a Judy top, are you coming at the fan motion? You stuck <laughs> what is that? Top, Christmas on. lights. <laughs> how, you gonna, how you gonna Judy top on that? There ain't no Judy top on that. Did you see how fast that was? Out there. This is not. He's wearing okay. a Superman cape. Have we forgot to mention that? Home on your kids or your dogs, okay? We got He's out of breath, so he didn't hand <laughs> it in. out of breath. He smokes it's marble reds. Dingy, pumping action. All right, we get our nunchucks. We get our Oh, God, he's got nunchucks. That's a jump rope. And we get them humping. Thank you for cursing one of the diamonds. Did you see how fast he is? <laughs> he almost circumcised his stuff with that last shout, one. Shout out to Diamond Dave. <laughs> That was classic, dude. Diamond Dave, you're awesome. You should get in the UFC, bro. <laughs> you really should, dude. There's, there's also a clip that you'll have to check out off camera of him at the Jerry Springer show with a real martial artist. And they're like, the, the real martial artist is angry that he's calling himself a ninja. And they're like, it, it, was, it was great, dude. So that was, that, was, <laughs> that was Diamond Dave, dude. Thank you, Big Free, for that one. <laughs> what about the skull can for a ninja star, dude? Dude, I'm going to do that, but I'm going to go to Lowe's first. And I'm going to get a little bucket of concrete mud, and I'm going <laughs> to stick it in, in the Copenhagen can. That is a deadly weapon for yeah. sure. Genius, Donner. But just remember, don't go ninja anybody. Don't need ninja. Can't ninja okay? dogs. Can't ninja children. God, dude. Shout out to Diamond Dave. Where You don't have internet, I'm sure, where you're at. But <laughs> what's next up? We got to go. Oh, yeah, we got to give him this. This is, a, this is okay, before we even show this, you've probably seen it. I don't know. Every episode we show this video just so we can see the guest reaction. Okay. This is just some chick being drunk. And um, uh, have you seen this? Mm -mm. Thank God, dude. Okay, hit play. This is called Turn Up in This Bitch. <laughs> Keep in mind, there's no nudity. Does she got a damn shirt on? No. <laughs> oh, my God. Look how sexy she is. Look at that fucking forehead. I'm finna turn up. Watch how she kipples out of the shot. I have no dude, clue. Dude, I've seen her on National Geographic. <laughs> Look. Just keep an eye on the bottom. Up to okay. <laughs> she's gonna choke, man. She don't give a fuck, dude. Look, she's turning up. <laughs> dude, when she starts windmilling, dude, you think they're gonna show the puppies and they don't come in the camera. Well, here it comes. Where's it at? Here it comes. Oh, shit. Oh, oh shit. Here they oh. come. They got so much. They got Jordan Hang time. I've seen a little bit of one. They're by our waistline. Most nasal. Her nose is so big it's impossible to not. Where's she with from, dude? Dude, I want to. I want to get her on the show. She's from Where India. Oh shit, she's fixing to kill it. Look, she's killing that mic, dude. Swallow that mug. Oh she. Oh did she? Oh. Uh uh. -oh. She might have swallowed that. I think she did. That's why she paused. She's going to be hurting when she shits it out. Oh, God. Can you fast forward to the favorite part? Because this goes on for the whole song, dude. She's just giving... They need to sponsor her, dude. Mike, please please tell me she falls. No, I was hoping that. Her shout-out... Like, she basically just gives it, gives it a, a shout-out at the end. Here it comes. Her forehead has 22-inch rims on it. Dude. Look how big that forehead is. Oh, my God. Thompson's on it, dude. Hey, you could put a backboard. You could put a basketball goal on oh, her shit. nose. Harlem Shake, dude. Ooh, kill her. She's Ooh. turning herself on. She's seen herself in the camera. That's what it is. Look at her eyebrows. They're uneven. I didn't even know she had one oh, on that bro. side. Here it is. Do not like my video. Y'all can kiss my motherfucking ass. She might be kin to me, bro. <laughs> I'm with my and she okay, that's it. I had to show him that, dude. Dude, that's mind blowing. Dude, I love her, dude. That's gotta have her. at least a million views. I've tried to find her on Facebook. She don't. I don't think. I don't know her name. I just. I tried, oh dude. And it's God. just not happening. You never know what you're gonna see on the internet. No, dude. I'll tell and you that, that right now. If I was Mike's, I would jump all over that, dude. Not well. Oh yeah. I would jump all over that if I wasn't Mike's. Slap but that. It, slap that mug on Comedy Central. For real, dude. Advertisement. God, web redemption. She needs it. <laughs> she needs to be on Tosh Point. She does for sure. 
Oh, now yeah. we've got through all that, and if that wasn't enough, we're going to do the shoe shoe of the week. Now we were going to do the shoe shoe of the week. There was an article I saw of a guy. We're not doing this one, so I'll just speak on it real quick. A guy that fucking killed his imaginary friend. Did you see that article no. on Facebook? And turned himself in for it. What? And he's he's just bawling in the mo. He killed his imaginary friend. My thing is, how did they arrest him? If he killed a anyway, they arrested him for killing his. He imaginary has a mugshot. Maybe what? for just being a son of a bitch. I don't know. They wanted him in a straitjacket. They, they didn't did. want him in jail. <laughs> so that wasn't the shoe shoe of the week. We found this one thanks to the homie Legacy. So check that you got this queued up. Shoe shoe of the week. Shout out to Squints for that little sound bite there. Shoe shoe of the week. We're gonna do the ninja uh, sound clip next week. Holy Man. shit! Hold it, Let's just make a McNugget to my hand. Oh. Okay, let me just preface this for you, Bubba. You can turn that down some too a little bit. This woman pulls up to the drive-thru okay. at, at, at McDonald's, right? It's 10.30 in the morning. Okay. Most McDonald's, because I'm fat and I know this, most McDonald's start serving lunch at 10.30. Oh, yeah. Okay? Some of them 11. This one apparently is, t- is 11. She wants her goddamn chicken nuggets. That's all I'm going to say, and you can hit play from that. This is, this is amazing. Just, watch, just listen to what she says. She yeah, opened the... Yes, you do. No, we don't. Why not? Because we don't. You know what? She... Oh, oh shit. Did you just listen to that? This, she, this is one of those bath salt incidents. Dude, for sure. Watch. She goes through. Look. Oh. Oh. Don't make me enter my ultimate form. Don't make me enter my ultimate form. She's got a Super Saiyan. Oh, no. All over some chicken nuggets. Oh my god, she she, she hissed at him again. Oh, they got her finger, then she snapped. So. Smash that mug. I'm gonna digest your face and shit it into the gutter. Oh yeah, bath salts. Oh my god, dude. She said she's gonna go Super Saiyan. What? Oh she wants fucking god. chicken nuggets. <laughs> All she wants is her chicken nuggets. Major munchies, bro. Major. Dude. And the thing is, she wasn't even right, fat. The now they need it. He just realized that. Oh, oh, I didn't see this part. Dude. Now she realized shit got real. Oh, my God. And what do you think if you're the person? I just got a, I just got a pancakes and sausage. Nuggets in my hand. Oh, my God, dude. dude. The shoe shoe of the week goes to you. Hopefully, you're rotting in a jail cell without chicken McNuggets. Because that would, if it was a fat person, I would totally understand it. Because it's like, well, they're fat. They're get, but this woman looked like she, she said she was going to go Super Saiyan. She, <laughs> she referenced Dragon Ball Z in real life. Like she was going to oh really do it. She was going to really Super <laughs> Saiyan into her <laughs> ultimate form. And then she, she was a cat. Too. She was Vegeta on them. <laughs> she was a Vegeta. Oh, God. So you survived the videos of death. Dude. Two funny ones, and that one, was, that last one was crazy. It dude. was crazy shit, dude. Just, I haven't seen nothing that crazy since that they found that dude that ate the other dude's face off. Oh yeah, the bad Remember stuff. That? Shit. Yeah, for dude, sure. What the crap? For sure, man. They, the the thing that's crazy is that this shit happens all the time. Like we we see these fast food videos and these fucking people do stupid shit like this all the time, and there's not enough videos or episodes in the world to cover them all. I actually I totally I, would though. that uh, the bath salt thing. I actually found. I ended up finding that the original link on Facebook and looking at that dude's face. You know, the dude that ate his face ate all of his face except for his beard. He was. He just didn't want hair. In his he mouth, didn't want no fuzzy stuff in his mouth. He just. He liked them both. <laughs> God. So shout out to Bath Salts. Just kidding. Uh, you can get them at Bed Bath and Beyond. For you like can. Six bucks. Just don't eat them. For God's sake, just don't eat them. Just use them to bathe. Episode six, we we survived. We did. We survived episode six. We did. What did you think of it, bro? I ain't even drank all my Mountain Dew yet. Yeah, I haven't. I didn't even touch the water. I drank an energy drink. Dude, I loved it. It was fun. Well, I appreciate it, man. So look. So first of all, I haven't said it enough. Go to the links, hit all the likes and subscribes, and buy the mixtape album EP. The EP. It's not a mixtape. Um, and look forward to more. If you want to book, hey, booking booking info is going to be in the. Uh, yeah, yeah, I got you. I'm gonna look. You mean say it right here? Let me say it. Okay, booking info. Let me pull it up on my phone real quick. If y'all want to get up church in your town and perform a show, uh, if you want booking for a show, holla at six one five eight one zero three four nine five. That's Johnny Cashville. Y'all be sure to hit him up and let's get 
keep spreading the wildfire. Not in a bad way. This isn't like bad news. We're not spreading it. We're going to spread the up church movement. Raise hell, eat cornbread, motherfucker. You know what I'm talking about? I will come rock a, your stage, your city, your county, a field, a bed of a truck. I don't care. I'll rock it. I'll rock, He'll it. rock the shit out of it. He'll Which, rock the boat. You know how you make a redneck stage, don't you? How? You take two trucks that yeah. are stock height. You right. let the tailgates down. Oh, you back shit. both trucks right. up right next to each other. Bam. You that's, got a fourteen foot stage. Full man. stage. That's you redneck just, shit, man. There's a lot of room for activities. Yeah. Oh man, you could run back and well, you could, I couldn't. Or you, you can get two back. twin mattresses and make a big ass bed. That's right. what I used to do. <laughs> there we go. So shout out to that, guys. Chad Arm Show, episode six. My fuck up, by the way. Uncle Randy's making a comeback, god dang it. Oh, and my you're gonna see god. more up church, hopefully, in the future on these shows. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like, comment, subscribe, and all that shite. Woo! <laughs>
from the bottom, now your honky got a buzz on. Pabs blue ribbon cranking up a thumping country song. My favorite person is to get high and watch on YouTube. Bob Ross. Fucker's funny. We're gonna put a rock he's beside so, this tree. He's so motherfucking passionate about what he does. <laughs> like, we're he gonna, did, we're gonna give this rock a little friend, and if uh, you tell anybody, I'm gonna fucking slit your throat. It's like, okay, bro. I'm like, don't tell anybody there's a rock. Bob Ross, I guarantee you, he had a basement full of, of like dead bodies under his cement. It was a basement full of cheerleaders in Bob Ross's basement. It's it's official. He comes yeah. in there in a gold thong. Y'all ready to party? I'm gonna put some white stuff by that left eyeball. Yes. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna slit your fucking throat. Yeah, <laughs>